Hey gang, Jack Lair here. Uh, just with a product review real quick, because uh, I uh, stopped by this weekend and managed to pick up a new handheld console. And couldn't find a lot of information on it, so decided to do a quick little review of it. And this is it. It is the Advanced Game Player 2. And it looks a lot more impressive off than it does on. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So it's got, it's an LCD game. And it's got uh, up, down, left, right. It's got a power button, a play button, a sound button that you can turn on and off, a reset button, another reset button. That's actually a cycle button, I guess. A light button. Turns it on and off. It runs on uh, two AAA batteries. And pick this up for 91 cents. So can't complain too much. And it's got these little cartridges in it. Now, we'll kind of touch on these real quick. Is that each cartridge has two games. For instance, this one has uh, Car Racing 2 and Pinball, C and D. There's basically A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. And let's go ahead and turn the light on because I think it'll be easier for you guys to see. And we might have to scoot in a little bit, but... Uh, looks like it might be... Cutting off a little bit there, but that's okay. Because luckily, they had two. So, uh, they had two there for 91 cents, so just decided to grab both of them. We're supposed to have C and D in there. This is one of the annoying things about it, is that each of these little cards is basically just this little chip that connects different connectors inside of there to make it work. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So we've got H and G again. So we'll take a look at the games. This one's a shooting game. Push the little thing button to shoot. They don't shoot each other, though. Isn't that disturbing? Oh, there you go. Where's that one? <clears throat> B, I haven't really figured it out. But, anyway. Alright, so there's A and B. Let me go ahead and see if I can get the one with the better screen to work. Be right back. All right, so here we go with C, which I believe is the race car one. Uh, yes, car racing two. Here we go. So it makes that obnoxious noise. And you drive back and forth. Wow, that's annoying. The weird thing is, is 
that I like that these light up whenever there's sound. Because it reminds me a lot of the, the stupid things that people have in the back of their uh, cars to go off whenever the whenever the bass hits. That's kind of cool. I may end up tearing one apart just to kind of see what's going on there. But alright, so that's a car racer. Let's go to looks like a Pong clone. Pinball. There we go. Turn the sound back on. Help us. Yep, let's break out. Yeah. All right. So on to E and F, which is Snake Game and Philbrick, which I'm guessing is going to be Snake and Tetris. All right, so here's E, which is Snake. Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it does move on its own. It's really slow. Alright, if you haven't played Snake, You've never owned a computer. So there. Alright, Philbrick. It's like reverse Tetris. That's actually kind of cool. I'm impressed. All right, on to the next. Which GNH is Car Racing 3 and Hit Brick. All right, to G. Car Racing 2. Oh, there are three lanes now instead of two. Whatever will we do? Really, that noise. That's what they think a car makes? Ugh. Sounds like an old modem. Ugh. Made it. Ha ha! Anyways. Alright. Fun, 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 fun. Ooh. Pushing up is bad. Pushing that button does nothing. What am I supposed to do? Okay, apparently not that.
You can just shoot your way up. Well, there you go. Now there's a little look at the AGP-2. It's not bad, not and not not near as horrible as I originally thought. I think it might actually have some uh, some fun. It does have uh, spots for all the games, which I like. It has no headphone jack. Which, I guess, why would you want to have a headphone jack on while, while actually playing any of these games because it would ruin your eardrums. But as far as a nice little, nice little pocket game, especially considering it has the light on or off, it's really nice. Ah. Like I said, I got it for 91 cents and I'm not disappointed. So... <laughs> If you can find one for 91 cents, uh, or even two of them, and I'll have to give this one a shot at fixing. But there you go. Hope you enjoy it. It's the AGP2 Advanced Game Player 2, and it's actually a fairly nice little device. It does feel uh, rather cheap. The battery compartment does actually have a little piece of wire that makes it spring out but you know I don't know what I was expecting for 91 cents but there you go there's the AGP2 so if you can find one if you enjoy it have some fun and as always play on <laughs>